Hello, welcome back. This is X Multiply playing on the Sega Saturn in the X Multiply Image Fight Dual Pack. Just running the track sequence at the moment, looking at one of the later levels. Those elusive later levels were, they didn't do particularly well there, and I can't promise to do any better. Uh, I have been practicing a little bit this morning and I've got a bit of a strategy for the first two levels to get me to the end of level two, beginning of level three. So I'm going to follow that script. Really important on this game not to try and uh, not to try and learn a new technique every level. Just do what you can and kind of see how it does. A very similar art type as feel to this game. I did a review of this a long time ago. And that noted the difficulty. The addictive nature of this as an IRM shooter. It does have all the hallmarks of IRM. Uh, really well drawn graphics. Chippy tunes and um, sort of good weapon power-ups. Overall addictive. Gameplay, but also uh, the checkpoint system, which of course means that if you die, you can go back to the beginning of the level or the checkpoint, which is usually a lot further back. You died, and in any case, there's no way you can play this game without arrows. So, this is the weapon that I'm going to use for the next two levels, hopefully. So, I die. Gives me, I think, the best chance. Certainly gets the bosses. There's some really nice weapons that kind of fire off in multiple directions, but you can usually pick off. You can usually pick off some of the more annoying kind of popcorn boss, popcorn enemies with this weapon. What this enables you to do is, you know, take the bosses down in as short a time as possible, which is important. For some reason we have a any scrollable options I think I'll take one more. I can scroll the HUD up and down and say it's like the best feature of any game I've ever played. <laughs> That's quite a large HUD. And you can't quite get rid of it. So some of these weapons are really nice. That one creates um, Kind of force fields at the end of the arms, uh, which which send out nice um, bullets in multiple directions. But as I said, I'm going to keep this weapon. It wasn't expecting me to kill it that quickly because it's on a uh, script up, down, left, right. So this bit is a bit tricky. I'll try and. See very much like us at level three. And they take out the gun placements. And I don't really want any of these power-ups, they will be more hassle than they're worth. At this stage it's all about taking out that fin. And these oh, I died. Okay. That didn't go according to script. Okay. I'm not sure we can actually use the red level, the red level, the red laser. Let's just see what else comes down. I almost got hit by that as well. Some seriously cheapo weapons now. Trying to take out a big multiple screen filling enemy with a single bullet. It's not going to be particularly easy, but. Help is on its way. The arms are really nice, you know, they've got a bit of kind of uh, ragdoll physics going on there. I do do that damage. The game would be unplayable if they didn't. I think we're going for the yellow now. So 
So these are the nicest looking cat wraps. And they also mean you've got a bit more complaints. You've got a bit more complaints up top. The problem will be the boss. You don't have much directional firepower. And although these give you a bit of directional firepower, you're having to move around a lot with this boss because it's quick. Which means that I yeah, was going to be firing in the right direction. So here we go. <laughs> As you'll see, what you really need on this guy is directional firepower. With the red laser, he does literally. I somehow managed to get past that. Luck was on my side then, he did a charge attack. Oh, that was good. Wow. Right. Leave the bank now. Okay, I can relax a little bit now because I'm on level 3, which is where I wanted to get to. So this, this is an interesting level, it's got a salamander feel to it with the uh, worms and gastroenterinal. Oh, it's just hit something, it must have been off the screen. Okay, back to basics. <laughs> laughingly underpowered now. It's turned into a gravious game. It's pure punishment. Pure punishment. Okay. I'm gonna have another playthrough see if I can get to this level with the red weapon because it's, in, it's just not it's virtually impossible for that power. To some extent, you're taking a bit of a gamble trying to take out those turrets. Because they generally only spout one or two, one or two worms each. It's always nice, nice to take stuff out just in case there's a risk of it backfiring on you. And you at least want it to. More importantly, stay out of the way of the worms a few empty turrets better than we can manage fast moving segmented worm that explodes in multiple directions right this guy is a lot more difficult than you imagine because he's got weird physics and this guy's got the same weird physics and he's I don't know how I managed to get past that okay so we're on to some empty bits Okay, so it's nice. Oh, slow down. Interesting. Cool. So whatever happens here, this is a cool boss. Absolutely awesome. And there's my red laser. Oh, oh glad I didn't go for that one. Glad I didn't go for that. Yes. I'm going to stick with red. Now, that isn't a Gradius weapon, I don't know what is. Let's take one of them. Okay, let's see where we're going now. Deeper into the tomb. Okay. I'd like to avoid the speed up. for so long I was distracted. I knew the lasers bounced around the screen. I was, I was distracted by looking at I believe I'd actually taken one out, so uh okay, is it taking me now? Is it taking me all the way back to the boss? Oh that's kind. Wow. It's gotta be the kindest the kindest uh be the kindest Checkpoint I think I've ever played in an iron game. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Phew! Wow, wow. This is going a lot better than I thought. Level 4. 
before. Here we are. <laughs> so, pretty sure there's a there's a level on our type where you've got kind of compressed ceiling effects. Those are so this is where I ridiculed the game player on the attract sequence. I don't know how I got up how I got past that. A bit pokey the speed to get. A bit pokey indeed. Oh, it's always when you least expect it. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to need to speed up the move down quick. <laughs> Bombs, yeah, useful. There's for speed up. Okay, thank you, Iron. So, did I go low or high on these? Oh, that was silly. That was silly. Anyway, on that silly note, thanks for watching. That was X Multiple.